Is there anything specifically out here that we can be doing building our immune system? And should we be masking up? Oh, well, number one for masking up, absolutely. You know, there's a lot of different studies that we have a science based, right? Of droplets in the air. And we were talking, we sneezing in your cough. You don't see it. That's moisture in your air, um, which kind of you don't see. And so it's, it's kind of, um, and that's how things spread, right? Coughing, sneezing, talking, it kind of gets into the air where you're at. So if you have the mask on, you're kind of containing that, that spread and, and, and staying here. So that's, of course, number one. Um, always cover your nose. I see a lot of people wearing the mask over their mouth, but not their nose, which that's really hard for me to understand why that they think that's okay. Um, but it's always the nose and the mouth. Um, and trying avoiding touching the eyes. Um, further, just washing your hands. You know, people touch everything, everyone, and that's how it got here, right? People not covering the mouth and touching everything. That's how it spread from all over the world. That's basically what it was, and we are the reason why it spread. It is us that is why it's spreading, not from COVID nineteen. It's us. Um, so we can do those things. Um, also, you know, it really attacks the immune system, right? So you want to be eating healthy. You really want to cut down on any sugars that you have. You know, people are have, um, there's different nutrients that you need in your body to create an anti-inflammatory effect, right? So one of the things that we know that people are a majority that are low in in the general population, and maybe not, they don't have it because people don't like green, right? We don't like veggies a whole lot. Um, one is obviously drink enough water during the day anywhere from like half a gallon is pretty good depending on um if you're a pretty healthy individual right also uh vitamin c you can take that that's not going to hurt any uh vitamin d as well um because we don't get enough of that the sun doesn't give us enough vitamin d so majority of americans are deficient in vitamin d so they can talk to their their um uh, provider to get a vitamin D level um and they can the doctor can do it or you can take a multivitamin it's not it's not going to hurt we haven't really have any causes for um, reasons to, we just have to make sure it's a daily dose, you know, for your regular dietary intake for vitamin C, vitamin D. Um, it doesn't hurt to take a multivitamin because people aren't eating as well. So too much of something is, is bad. Too little of something is bad. Um, and that's even mental health, right? You should step away from things that are distracting and, and, and causing some mental distraught, you know, go to something that's going to make you feel better. You know, you have to step away from certain things. You can't have too much water because it's bad for you. You can't have too little as well. You can't have too much sugar, you know, diabetes, you too little, you don't, you could pass out because you need sugar to, to work. So it's always a balance of things. Um, food, what you're, what, how you're speaking, what you're thinking. It's just always coming back into a place where it's more calm and balanced than what you're doing. So. Uh, it helps with science, it helps with medicine. Um, because once you hit those extremes, even physiologically in your body or even mentally, um, you become an imbalance and um, you're not doing well. So, And when you're not in balance, that's what's the opportunity to give these viruses or bacteria yes. in. Yes, yes, yes. And, you know, having too much sugar, right? Diabetes or an acute episode, you're acidotic. And bacteria and viruses, like bacteria especially, love sugar. They love sugar, they love acid, creates disease. Um, also, when you're stressed, you have cortisol, which decreases your immune system, which you get sick. And those are all science-based. So. And that's a good point right now. I know personally my cortisol is really not, <laughs> it's not good right now. <laughs> I'm so stressed and touched. you touched on the mental capacity. Um, but the cortisol for me right now is it's just, clearly one of the things that's hurting my immune system for others out there right now the world is a scary place and that is what's causing our stress to go up which is our cortisol is going up what's some advice what's some things that we can do to get that back down to help our immune system so one of the natural things that you can do is just if, if you're able to is you know go running um, go hiking uh, make sure that you're not around obviously not around people um, when you engage with nature or being outside um, you're paying attention to where your foot's stepping, right? You're paying attention to, oh, look at that plan, or what do I see there? Which, without even realizing, is pulling you away from what's stressing you out. 
right? Because you're, you're paying attention to that. Um, yoga for a, a thing. You're listening to someone who's saying, okay, breathe slow. And you're like, okay, let me breathe slow. You're thinking about that versus something in the world that you're not happy with. Um, so things that are distracting, but in a good way. So hiking, walking, running, um, also just FaceTime your friends and having a rule of not talking about COVID, you know, talking about your plans, you know, or, you know, what you guys are doing at home because you need that relationship. You know, guys need guy time, you know, women need female time. Um, also if it gets too bad and you don't have that, there's nothing wrong with calling, um, like a telemedicine for therapy, like a therapist. You know, um, I think sometimes there's a stigma. There is a stigma to that. Um, even as frontline care workers or people are doing this, it's, it's okay. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, people, we just need extra help. And I wish people would do that more and not feel so, um, feel like it's taboo. Um, it's definitely needed. It definitely helps. Um, I don't know. I have nothing... It's always such a, a relief when, when you do talk to someone who's maybe not in healthcare, like even myself, or not talking to someone who's so involved as you are, just a different aspect, a different approach. Maybe not, not a family member, not a friend, just someone that you can completely be honest with. And that's, it's a beautiful thing that you feel free, and it, and it helps, and someone else is there to understand you.